It's the Mandalay Bay Convention Center and a show called Super Zoo. This reporter has been out of commission for about two months in terms of conventions, but I'm delighted to come to one of my favorite trade shows, Super Zoo. It is a show for pet retailers. Super Zoo is produced by the World Pet Association. Folks coming to the show, and that'll be probably more than 12,000 people, because that was the number last year, and this is expected to be a record year. Folks will come from the U.S. and 41 different countries. 1,000 exhibitors will be at the show. Two at a time on each apex of the triangle. Two well, this we don't here. do at home. Two balls over here. This is the I am Yukonuba booth. It's a hot day in Las Vegas, and this gentleman attending the show, I hope it's a gentleman, can't see, <laughs> is drooling with his tongue hanging out, waiting for some cool space. And what is a super zoo without poodles in various colors? I suppose if your dog barks incessantly, you need Bayer Aspirin. I'm sure they're here for other reasons, but I find it interesting that Bayer is here. I was intrigued by this display because I love orange, I think. And uh, these products are by Bionic. This is a three-year-old company that spent about five years developing the rubber, which they say only 5% of dogs can penetrate, but actually it has a lifetime uh, guarantee. So if your dog goes through these things, um, you will get a new one. Anyway, this particular bone has a hole in the top, and you can insert uh, peanut butter or some dog treats, which make playing with this bone a little more interesting. This particular one, which is fairly large, would be around $29.95 in a pet store. Though there's not a crowd here now, folks who are interested in aquariums will probably be stopping at Lifeguard. They even have a fancy kind of uh, fountain here. But look at all the pieces of equipment one can have when having a fancy aquarium. These are the letters in front of the North American Pet Products display, and they are really kind of neat. I've never seen anything quite like them. And of course, the exhibit is large, featuring all kinds of classy kitty cat furniture, and there's lots of, there are lots of dog beds, pillows, all kinds of things here. But me, I like the N-A-P. The names of the exhibitors at this show are great. This is Wet Nose, W-E-T-N-O-Z. If you love your dog and your favorite sports teams, you can put these bones on the outsides of your car and advertise everything you love. <laughs> this is Ann Klinger from Michigan, Ann Arbor, right? right? Been in business for 18 years and she's in a part of this show called Rodeo Drive where we have fancy stuff for pets. And look at all this. The company is called Dazzle Pet and I asked Ann whether any of these collars had been on celebrities and she said one of them she knows was in a movie called How to What? How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days and her collar was in the movie. Not everybody can say that. How much do these run? I mean, for like the one you're touching up there. It's a simple. If you were to buy this in a store, it would run thirty or thirty-two dollars. Thirty or thirty-two dollars, and these are what Swarovski yep. or a lot yeah. of them are Swarovski, and we hand make them in Michigan. So we glue and we sew all the jewels on. Huh? And there, it's a cottage industry uh, made up of women. How many people work with you on this? Three right now. Three. Yep, three. I'll be darned. And you've yeah. been in business all this time. We have, yeah. When my mother started the company 25 years ago. We started out life as a catnip mouse called the Ultra Mouse. Gift toy for the cat who has everything. Okay. All right. Well, good for you. I'm glad you're here at this show, and uh, you sure do sparkle. Thank you.
Still in the Rodeo Drive section of the show, ran into a company called Papilla. It is from New Jersey, and they have quite a few dog harnesses here. They may run 20 or $30, and <laughs> the gentleman here was explaining to me that these harnesses are popular, particularly for certain breeds that do not react well to uh, choke collars. He's, their eyes pop out. Well, we don't want that to happen, do we? But they're really cute, and all sizes, and all colors, and uh, your dog will certainly be distinctive in one of these papilla harnesses. Well, here are some Las Vegas leashes, and they are by Chrome Bones, and they glitter like crazy. Here's a company called Pinkaholic from New York, and you wonder why they have the name? Lots of items in pink. Dog Gone Smart produces the dirty dog doormat, magically soaks up water, mud, and dirt. Sounds wonderful. Jewish treats, um, and there are lots of kosher signs among the items on display in the back and in the front. Oh, isn't, aren't these cute? My husband happens to be Jewish, so I think I could talk him into a couple of these. For the dogs, of course. Another great name, Pork Chomps. A new company here at the show is called Dogs of Glamour, and I stopped by because what do you know, even dogs can have hoodies. Only these hoodies may range in price for more than $50. They are considered very high quality. I said, this is Paris Hilton stuff for their dog, right? Yes, yes. And look, they have these beautiful pillows with Dogs of Glamour and uh, sparkles, all kinds of stuff. So, if you've got a lot of money and you love your dog, consider Dogs of Glamour. Of course, what would Super Zoo be without a big exhibit from Purina? Dog bandanas are by Hip Doggy. Fab Dog has these. I thought they were hoodies, but they aren't. They are rain gear for the dog. Probably around $35 each. Well, if your devotion to your animal goes to your feet, look what's new. Socks for the owners of all kinds of dogs. This is by Wheelhouse Designs, Inc. If you want your aquarium to glow, you might uh, call the folks from Glowfish. It says, experience the glow. Very nice. This whole section of the show is for new products. And you can see how large this section is, which means lots of new exhibitors as well. And new products from longtime exhibitors but row after row of new products. In Las Vegas, when the temperature gets up to 100 plus, walking your dog on an asphalt street is not a good idea. It's hot. And so a number of people have pet carriers. My friend Alice just bought one. And here are a number of pet carriers as advertised by Gen, looks like Gen 7 Pets. Critter mazes I didn't know existed, and here it's they right are. Now. It's been out for two weeks. Out for two weeks, and so this would be for a hamster. I was also told rats, rats yeah. but community. we don't want rats yeah. in our community. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> These are the folks that are staffing this booth. So if you want a maze for your critter, go to Critter Mazes. Now you're... If your dog or cat is drinking water out of a plain bowl, well, you are behind the times. There are fountains associated with uh, dog watering bowls, and they do require being plugged in. These are the products of PetSafe. And this one over here, I asked, well, what would be the retail price? And I was told anywhere from $90 to $120. They're really neat. 
always expect the unexpected at a trade show. Here's a sign. Got mold, bacteria, odors. Stop it with Canberra tea tree and essential oil products. The original all natural air purifier. Even if you dress up your dog to take a walk, you may want to add something for yourself. This is a walkie belt. And you can see there are room for um, the little plastic bags you may need, as well as cell phone, etc. This is called a D-O-O-G walkie belt. I stopped by Distinctive Dog simply to get a couple of samples <laughs> for my dog, but I had to stop and listen to what the owners of this company, they are from the Seattle area, Andrew and Tamara Johnson, and look at this, uh, the flavors here. We have peanut banana bread, chicken pot pie, sweet potato carrot cake, and pawberry cobbler. And I asked, well, how's the company doing? It's a four-year-old company. And Andrew said, we're doing very well, especially since we added coconut flour. I said, coconut flour? <laughs> And apparently Tamara is uh, very much into health and you can make coconut flour and coconut oil and add them to products. She said these are all natural ingredients and yes, if I wanted to chow down myself, it would probably taste good and be good for me. So Distinctive Dog is available in stores and online. If you come up with one of those exotic foods for your dog, the folks at Flair Flexible Packaging Corporation will be glad to design a um, package for your food and look at how colorful they are. I stopped to buy the Organic Oscar exhibit because I saw these bone-shaped things and I wondered what it is. Well, what it is are uh, shampoos and um, conditioners and what happens is the top, whoops, the top comes off and you get these wonderful organic products. Wonderful, say the folks who work here. And at a pet store, you might pay $9.95 for one of these items. And the new product this show is the pet wipes. And they really are darling. And I was able to smell one of the um, shampoos and it was delicious. Here's a convention attendee who seems perfectly um, happy to smell all the smells and look around and look gorgeous. This is a standard poodle. I haven't seen many in, oh my goodness, aren't you beautiful? Aren't you beautiful? Look at you all fluffed up. Bixby makes functional jerky and that must be much better than dysfunctional jerky. Hip and joint, skin and coat. I know some people who could use that. All kinds of products here, including the Tick Twister, reduces the risk of infection, Lyme disease, easily attaches to keychains and pet collars. This beef bone by Chumax Pet Products uh, is almost as big as some dogs and it would sell for about $15. This is Tina. And, and by the way, I didn't stop to look at Tina, I stopped to look at <laughs> Bob Barker, the poodle. And Tina says that she's a groomer and she's the inventor of? Critter Color, our product line. This is a temporary hair color for pets. Temporary hair color for yes. pets. It washes out within uh, several baths. We have eight colors to choose from. Now, Where would you buy this? You can buy it through Warren London. You can buy it through um, Ryan's. When he gets it, right? Yeah, we're waiting for Ryan's to get it. Um, we can get online? It. Yes, we can get it online. We can get it at warrenlondon.com. Okay, warrenlondon.com if you want to. Uh, and it doesn't hurt the dogs, I hope. No. In fact, we are the first hair color for pets that actually has earned the cruelty free bunny. Okay. So we're very safe for our animals. Okay. Um, all right, that's all I need to know. The, uh, the <laughs> proof is in. <laughs> Hello, Bob. And, the pudding. <laughs> and there we go. It's also in our toenails. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. 
the point of the show is to sell products to pet retailers and it looks like here we have done a very good job. Together American Antlers are also good for dogs to chew because there's a company here called American Antler Dog Chews. Fortunately in Las Vegas all you have to do is to put a wet dog <laughs> out in the atmosphere for five minutes and it dries off. But in other, um, oh my goodness, we just had a poodle walk by that's white and pink. Anyway, apparently there are actual dryers for dogs if you are in the grooming business. Patience is a virtue when you are a poodle that needs regular grooming. And look how fluffy we are here. This is the Pulse Ion boot, and every inch of this dog gets attention. We're huh? going to uh, start with our uh, sporting division. This is a grooming competition. Entry, uh, entry level. Our judge for that class is Terry Di Marino. This little dog looks so happy, watching everything going on, wagging its tail, cute as a button. Program going on all weekend long. We have a grooming table that we're going to be raffling off at the end of the show. You've got to be here tomorrow at 2.45, okay? Got to be here. So if you're not going to be here, you can't win. But it was donated by Pet Edge. Yay, Pet Edge! All right. Here we have pheasant and brown rice in a dry dog food and white fish and sweet potato recipe. Mine intrigued me. You've touched your last slobbering dog toy. And why? Why? Because <laughs> yeah. nobody likes to touch a slobbery dog toy. True. <laughs> and so show how this works. Well, this is Slinger. And this is the most unique and versatile dog toy slinger ever invented. Do you ask how? Well, it's quite simple. It's engaged with this slot right there. You saw how easy that was. Yeah. Anybody can do it. Bring it back. And you sling it. Ah, so the dog may slobber, but you're not touching. I'm not touching <laughs> you're not any touching it. dog toys anymore. So all of these, all of these can be slung with this thing. So if my dog likes plush, I step on the plush. I engage it like so, I turn it over, and I sling it. Okay, this is Slinger. Where where are these purchased? Online well, we're getting, or? We're getting started. Getting started. I heard you say Amazon. Will we'll be, be on Amazon, yes. We'll be on Amazon, and you're introducing this at the show. Yes. I can tell you this is a great headline, so good luck with it. It also slings discs. This toy. Ah, okay. Great. Right. Thank you. In the summertime in Las Vegas, our dogs like the tile floor because it's cool, but it looks like here are cool beds and you just add water, non-toxic. The Super Zoo trade show was moved from its traditional September timing to July of this year so that folks who want to be stocking their stores for the holidays can do so. Now here is a, looks like a um, new kind of aquarium where the water actually flows over the top and the sides of the aquarium. I touched it and yes, I got real water. So it's not inside, it's outside. The lady came by and she said, cool. The ingredients of Iceland pure, maybe pure, natural, and unspoiled. But the dog or the cat surely is spoiled. Well, I made it around about two hours in the show and had a wonderful time looking at everything. There are so many um, items for pets. It's just unbelievable. Here we have some <laughs> fetch balls, I think. And I just can't imagine how big the dog has to be to get the tug and toss. But anyway, I'm, I'm about to leave the show here. Had a wonderful time and can't wait for next year.